Here is the TJ Thompson Top Crack Corrector. It's a new method for repairing cracks in guitar tops that comes to us from TJ Thompson, one of the world's greatest repairmen and a Martin specialist. This is a single 017 Martin from 1941 and it has a perfect crack to repair right here. It starts here and it runs all the way up to the bridge. The perfect guitar for these tools. I love these patching cleats that are made on a CNC, round on the back, flat on the bottom. They bend like feathers in the angled grain. Gives just the support you need. They're loaded onto the cartridge here with a little double stick tape. You put some glue on that and that goes on the inside and this is on the outside. The magnets are strong enough to hold themselves together right through the guitar top. I made this prop guitar for a demonstration and I scratched a crack in it and I'm darkening it up so you can really see it. Kind of a crooked crack. There's your crack. Don't rub dirt into it, clean it whatever way you would. And then you take the top call with the scribe side down and lay it over the crack. Then select a cartridge that fits over the braces. You may have to turn them around. Pick one that gets you where you want to be because you won't be able to see. And you go in there and find one they make. There, that's, that's a good setup right there. And what you do is put a little piece of low tack tape on the finish if it's old like this one. And make a mark at each end. That's on your scribe line. On the outside one, I'm going to tape those in place with a little heavier tape. Some of this brown tape. And I'm taping on to the low tack tape so I don't pull off finish. That'll keep the call in position. Then I can remove the call from the inside and load the cartridge. To load the cartridge, you put the curved side of the cartridge up and the curved face of the patch down so they nest. And you cut the wood to fit around the braces. Then you put some double stick tape up on the cartridge to hold those pieces in place. You don't need a lot. And that's ready for glue and to go inside. Heat the cartridge in the cleat with a 100 watt light bulb to get in the 80 to 90 degree range for a little extra heat if you're using a hot glue. Work glue into the crack. Make sure your finger's clean. Wear a glove. Get all the excess and squeeze out that you possibly can. Set the outside call in place. Right over your crack. Put glue on the patch. Keep it clean. Here's the tricky part because you won't be able to see what you're doing. In this case I would run up against the end block until I felt it touch because I know I'm in the right proximate area and it just takes care of itself. Now I'm coming in with two sound hole clamps. One's going to reach way back there. Nice pressure. I think I can squeeze the second one in here. And I honestly have never patched a crack this nicely in my life. Now these cartridges don't fit every guitar in the world, so you may end up having to notch one of your own, and that's why we've included the extra cartridge and two extra magnets, a couple of saw cuts on each side of the brace, and you can knock it out with a chisel. Very workable. And I've used the blank calls a whole bunch. This one here I cut a notch to get on one brace. I'm not sure what it was for, but I saved this for later. This one I notched on the bandsaw to bend on the inside of an arch top mandolin. And I've got a lot more I could show you. This is a great outfit, and thanks to TJ Thompson we have it.